Hey guys, thanks for watching our Senior Design final video for the Fossenmeyer Conference. We were Team 13 responsible for the interactive map system, which was sponsored by Mr. Shattuck, who is actually one of the counselors here on campus. And then this video is just meant to show the main features we were able to get done and what the idea behind the project was and the main components we made. So to begin, in the middle is the map display. So this was the art piece that was created by the sponsor. It was created on a seven foot by seven foot wall, give or take, in one of the rooms of his Airbnb locations here in Erie. So our main task was basically to take a set of data and overlay it on this map. So for example, the first thing you'll notice is that there is many markers here on the map these correspond to the specific points that are part of the map and these points are all named after people related to the sponsor in some way and each one of these markers for example emily woods this these markers contain images the title description and links to other information about these specific people this is the main idea for every one of these markers there's 136 that exist on the map so our job was basically to organize that data into some way and pull it into a web application so this was sort of our solution to that was through the use of markers and a mapping software next i can just show off the main features the first one obviously was a search bar there's 136 markers if you want to look if you want to locate a specific point you can utilize a search bar We'll use Emily Woods again, search for it, gives you a button. We can click that button and we can use that to get this onto the screen. We can, use, we can close this, get it out of our view by clicking the X, by clicking the button in the left sidebar again, or by just clicking the map. So there's many ways to get it out of your view. Here, we can just hit the X, reset, and this just lists out every marker that exists on the map. You don't have to search for anything in here. You can utilize these buttons if you want. It's all in alphabetical order. Next, we have the atlas. The main idea here was, if you noticed last time, when we bring a mar marker onto the screen, it just indicates to us what's currently active. And these titles here for these sections bring up overlays onto the screen that just indicate where these markers exist. So for example, Emily Woods exists in the Oberath range and we can click these overlays to bring up more information about these specific areas. And we did that for about six on the map. We can bring all of these onto the screen. So these are what you could call the main areas of the map. And each one of these just has more information that can be viewed. It's sort of like the lower layer to the map is the best way you could think of it. Here, just more information. And then we can just simply close all of these again. Um, if you don't want to see that on your screen, obviously. Here, we'll just get rid of all of them. And use the center. And we're back to square one. Next, I'll show the about page. Just a very simple about page. Information about the sponsor. Who is he? These are links to his Airbnb, his other website. The more interesting of this about page was the beginning, so how this map actually got created and how the idea came to be. And that's this big paragraph over here. Next, we can show the login feature and the update feature. So here, I'll log in. This is a very simple login. It just uses a JavaScript web token for a single page application. We get authenticated. Now we have an update field or a tab in the navbar. And this is just used to add more information in the future if he so desires. This is so he doesn't have to log into both databases, find the right point, get all of his data from his computer, and upload it, save it. This is a way to do that all from the front end. So for example, let's choose an empty point here. We will choose my person pasture. Let's say I wanted to add information to this point, change the description. This is the default one that's currently stored in the database. 
we'll say a new description for this point. Some exclamation points. Next, we'll put an image file. This form accepts up to four. Here, I'll just use one. And the link section. So this is used to add a new link. Here, I'll just use a Wikipedia link. Next, we'll do update marker. We get a modal to make sure that that information is correct. We can click no and check it again or yes, which will submit the form. We get a little message here that says the data was submitted. And then if we go back, we can search for that specific point and it's populated with information. So that was our solution to his request. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope to see you in the presentation. Thanks.